Hi folks, we are today out for a wild camp again and today we are in the Kamsi Fels and we are heading to the Macha stones which are some ancient stones, standing stones here in the Kamsi Fels and we are not alone today, with us is PA Adventures and Murchis Mountains so Robert and Paul yeah we didn't go today um, into the highlands as the weather forecast is like we have a yellow warning for icy streets and really high winds should come tomorrow plus rain so probably the right time to explore again a wee bit of the local hills as a rather short hike um, yeah I think a few kilometers from the road where we parked at the lay-by behind us yeah and we are now just cutting here through the local woods they're all like farmed woods it's not the nicest for walking necessarily because you have all the paths from the vehicles when they put the trees in so it's not a natural forest there are not really many ancient forests here in Scotland um, I believe that the trees which are basically the ancient trees here are pine forests like pine trees and as you can see here we're in the middle of the evergreens um, and heading now like a shortcut is this to the standing stones so and these are the standing stones here um, the first thing which I read about them was from an article in 1823 I think and they are apparently lined up by 220 degrees I have no idea what they are for but it's pretty interesting um, we have a lot of snow it's really soggy and I think we should look a place where sets a tent up is probably best what I will do is somewhere here back in the forest I don't just shuffle the snow and this one looks like a really nice spot next to the stones and here are some mossy bits so I will pick now here short the sticks away so it doesn't damage uh, the tent I brought and the tent which we're using today is a lanchon again it's just the perfect tent particular for the forest I think so if you would ruin it <laughs> then it's at least not so pricey So, now just short the poles in. So folks, that's me now set up and it's like as usual, the suspects here, I have the thin mattress here that provides it from sliding and then my rucksack, my down jacket are hung in so they can dry a little bit because it's really drippy here then we have a lot of cooking stuff and I got a present from Robert, absolutely beautiful for later and then we have some fire locks, camera stuff and my sleeping bag I still leave and the dry bag because of the moisture we are having and now we are looking short at um, Paul's tent which is an MSR but he will tell us all about it it's the wee MSR access to it's quite dark in there isn't it? it's yeah. quite dark I have got this seat summit etherlight extreme mat and I always have this wee, one, the wee cover over it stops it sliding 
<laughs> and I've got a light and equipment quilt. Uh, dead oh, light, it's nice. dead light. Very nice. So uh, uh, you can use it as a quilt, but you, you can do it as a mummy sleeping bag as well. Okay. And my soft and gentle <laughs> with a wee strap to go underneath the Okay. <laughs> Abby's mum made me this. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's, uh, you can get two. It's a bit cosy. Cosy? For two. But, uh, Looks good. Okay. And you pitch first the inner tent and then you put the outer tent on top. Aye, that's the only thing, it's the mm. first. So I guess that, some people don't like that, but it's, it's not too bad. Ah, and a second vestibule. That's mad, you can see here, we are just underneath the trees and it's not raining. But how much it dribbles down from the trees up here. And this is Robert's tent. And you're using? Uh, the old classic, the Van Gogh Mirage Pro 200, used it many a time, love it. Great one. Yeah, and by Robert is also, like in my case, you know it probably already the usual suspects. The X-Lite, then the Van Gogh Cobra 600, the Tricology. You have seen it before. So, nice coffee, and actually, um, Monty came um, with another guy, Jim. which we can see here, Jim, and they just pitched on the other side. So we will have now a little chat. And what we are having today for dinner is like an upside down pizza, which is um, like pepper, mushrooms, some sausage. I fry it first in the pan, then I add some tomato sauce, then some cheese, bread on top till it's melted and then I can turn it around. Bon appétit. Mm -hmm. mm. A little bit too much tomato sauce, really tasty. Mm -hmm. We had a really good banter at the campfire, but now it's really time to go to bed. The wind picked up, the vein got much stronger, and hey, see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, folks. It was a really good night. A bit windy and rainy, but um, actually I woke now a little bit early up, because I heard a loud bang. And now when I look down, it is actually, you heard it. The Samaras mattress loses the grip, so it cracks open. Here comes the next one. So probably I will need to set this one. Bam! <laughs> okay, you heard this one. <laughs> so, um, this is another thing I need to send to Samarist. 
And as you can see, the single voltage, the condensation is not too bad, I think. Yes, it is wet from inside, but nothing which is really annoying. Anyway, folks, I will now get slowly inside the tank ready, and then um, we go outside, put everything away. Um, have a look, so we clean everything up. And then heading back to the car, and I hope you enjoyed our V wild camping trip to the Martha Stones, the Standing Stones here in the Kamsi Fels. And hey, see you next time. Bye.